Today's video, we are going to talk about Bing audience network clicks or Bing ads audience network clicks or some people call it Microsoft audience network clicks. or Microsoft Audience Network ads, how to get those shut off completely. This is a 100% guaranteed foolproof effing method to get these shut off 100% completely. There's a lot of information out there that's either outdated or wrong and will get, you know, won't get your ads on the Audience Network shut off completely. If you've watched my other videos or you're a subscriber to this channel, you probably already know that these clicks are as good as almost completely worthless. Not 100% worthless, but close to it, and certainly enough to where most of you guys shouldn't be doing any of these clicks if you can help it. Uh, in a lot of situations, we've had client accounts where if you haven't shut off audience network clicks, this is 80% of the damn clicks in your account. You, and then makes it impossible to get an ROI from your ad spend when you got this going on. If you don't know what audience network clicks are, these are clicks that are gonna, uh, from ads that run outside Bing.com search engine. And it's similar to Google Display Network and how that all works. Ultimately, the uh, uh, Microsoft, which obviously runs Bing, it, uh, has made it harder and harder to shut off these audience network clicks because they know their customer base don't want them. So they take something that people want, which are the Bing network clicks or Bing.com advertising space, uh, ad space, and then take all these network clicks, which you know you, where, where they're getting a cut of every ad that they get of yours placed on other websites outside Bing.com, and and they know that in which they know that people don't want, mix them together. And now they have, they can make more money because they're kind of limited on what they can make in terms of ads on Bing.com. There's only so many, so much ad spots, and they can only sell it for so much money before they hit a roadblock. They're basically there now, unless they can use AI to basically get more out of the clicks uh, and therefore show the right advertiser for the right person, and that's there but for the most part that you know they're not going to be able to grow that section of their business anymore without you know in order for somebody to get a bonus to get by having more revenue coming in through uh, Microsoft ads they clearly started focusing on about two three years ago these audience network clicks and growing that side of the ad business so and you know essentially if you have it's if you, again, just to clarify what this is, if you have a blog and you want to monetize your blog and the, and the viewers of your blog, you can run ads on your site that Microsoft will put ads on your site. They just give you a little code to put on your site and then ads, Microsoft will run ads on your site. Well, of course, it's not Microsoft's ads. It's ads of their customers who come to them and want to advertise on Microsoft's platform. So you, you, but they're just playing a, a middleman game, just like how YouTube ads work. Uh, the creator gets half the revenue, and Microsoft slash Bing gets half the revenue. But the problem is, on Microsoft Ads Network, where you get to run your ads on these different websites, for the most part, if you look into it, the sites are total junk bullshit websites. So they're not even real clicks they're giving you. So obviously, Microsoft loves this, because they're selling basically a worthless product because ultimately if those clicks were useful, they would just go through Google AdSense because they're gonna be able to make more money through that, honestly. And so Microsoft's just making money off this junk that nobody else you know, will work with them and run ad, let you run ads on their site and get a revenue sharing agreement going. So anyway, I've made videos about in the past to get rid of these audience now Bing slash Microsoft audience network clicks to get rid of those clicks by adding the placement exclusions through that feature because originally since this has been an ongoing thing of you know Bing trying to you know get rid of you uh, get rid of one way to get rid of these audience network clicks and then people catching on to it and then they find another way to get people to have to spend part of their money on audience network clicks and then people find 
a way to block audience network clicks another way and then it's like a game of whack-a-mole here it used to be you could just they had a, a, a switch where if you dug you could put a negative 100% bid adjustment on the audience network clicks then they got rid of that then you could go ahead and you could add negative placement target targets on your campaign to get rid of the audience network clicks well now that is not as easy to do it anymore you can still technically do it I had a video where I mentioned uh, where I was giving away a list of 15,000 website exclusions that your audience network ad could then not run on you essentially would say to Microsoft hey do not run my audience network clicks on these 15,000 websites and these 15,000 websites were the websites with the most clicks therefore giving you a, a workaround to getting these audience network clicks eliminated from your campaign however which that worked beautifully for a time being or for that time however which I think because Microsoft's making some money at so much money at this and it's the only part of their business that's growing revenue they started adding more sites and then adding the more sites made my 15,000 uh, site list out of date but the reality is looking into it further I realized that the sites that you're showing up on vary based upon your niche and your keywords that you're targeting so um, my default list isn't nearly as effective as it was and you really got to build up a placement exclusion list to add to your account that is unique to your business and your niche and your keywords that you're targeting but furthermore beyond that by the way you can only add a 15,000 website exclusion list which is why my list was 15,000 if they let you had an unlimited exclusion list then I could give you a list of like 300,000 websites and then it would probably block them all so I think the 15,000 exclusion list is partially because of processing uh, resources they don't want to look at more than 15,000 uh, websites but partially it's because they don't want you to totally block every possible audience network click because they want that's where their money that's where their bread and, and butter is coming from so because that exclusion list won't work and it for the most part most companies are going to waste so much money trying to figure out every website to block for the keywords that they're targeting they'll go broke before they ever get to the where they have effectively eliminated all their audience network clicks then uh, you need another workaround of which we have found that if you go ahead and you contact Bing support you can get them to actually shut off audience network clicks which I, I wish I knew about this earlier but it is what it is we all have to live and learn and uh, you just got to complain and it's not so easy it's not just like please shut off Bing audience network clicks and they're like yep okay and then just do it right away for you but if you, you it is possible to get them to do it and if you can't get them to do it reach out to my firm I'll make sure to do it for it for you because we've got this down to a foolproof method and science to get get them to shut these audience network clicks on Bing ads or Microsoft ads this is the only 100% foolproof method that works today to shut off 100% Bing audience network clicks not 90% not 95% a hundred percent of the Bing audience network clicks you can get shut off this way ie contacting support and having them confirm to you that they've shut it off you can't just say please shut it off they gotta say that they escalated this and got it cleared at a high enough level that for your account yes they made an exception they were gonna shut off the Bing audience network clicks for your account then you're hundred percent cleared after that from now on now will this work in another six months who knows I'm sure because I'm sharing this it doesn't help making this method you know the full the so-called foolproof method forever because if everybody started doing this surely they probably won't let you do it anymore but there's a lot of methods that I should not share on this channel for them being overused and not being useful anymore but this is what this channel is about how to make money with ads I have to you know it is what it is yes I shouldn't be sharing this because we want to use it for our own clients exclusively so it stays working and I'm sure other ad managers are, are not happy about me sharing this with you but this is why you watch the channel is to get information that's gonna make you money and with Bing ads being highly effective because 15% of the search market of people searching using a search engine use Bing uh, itself 
which makes any, and by the way, anything that works on Google will work on Bing, but even better. So even though there's only 15% of the market of the people that search for a solution in your niche, search on Bing, I promise you, it'll be 30% of your profit from search engine advertising. Why? Because the Bing ads convert at a higher rate. It has a uh, older, more serious buyer who converts normally at a higher rate, which is why you don't want to mess around and not have Bing ads. The only problem is these audience network clicks freaking drain any potential ROI that you could get if you didn't have it. If you just have regular search clicks, yes, you'll make another 30% more money in addition to whatever Google ads is bringing in if you ran Bing ads. So now you actually can get that for your company. It generally has a little cheaper cost per click and the conversion rate's actually higher. So you actually make more money than Google clicks on two different levels. And there's a lot of markets where anymore on Google ads, the cost per click is a hundred bucks a click. That used to be that was like a couple niches were like that. It was insane. Now I'm getting to see that more and more often in like the business to business service space. Whereas if you go on Bing in those particular markets, you could pay 10 bucks a click. It's an insanely different market in terms of the same keywords, way, way less cost per click. So, or should I say Google charges in, the, in that type of market, a hundred bucks a click. After you get a good quality score, they'll charge you 25 bucks a click or 20 bucks a click. But you have to start out at a hundred bucks a click. And if you're starting out with not a, you're not sitting on a ton of cash to get this thing rolling, you just never can enter the market. Whereas if you went over to Bing and started there, made some money, roll that back into Google to get Google going, knowing Google's not gonna work because you're paying a freaking hundred bucks a click right off the bat to get your, you know, uh, Google to have enough data to understand what you have is better than the competition so that they lower your cost per click. you never get started because there's, it's a drain, up, it's a money drain up front for them to, for you to have the data collected by your account and through your account and for the ad algorithm to realize you shouldn't be charged the higher end of the scale of the cost per click in your market, which if you don't know what that is, I know I'm getting off track here, but if you don't know what that is, you go into Google keyword tool you type in your keywords, it says what your cost per click high and low range is. The high range is what you're going to pay starting out. The low range is what you're going to pay if you're beating your competitors on click-through rates and conversion rates on the traffic for your keywords that you get there. So you can pay the low range, but it doesn't mean you're not going to have to spend, you know, the first 20 grand worth of ad spend in your market to get to where you're not paying the high range anymore, you're paying the low range because you've built up enough data where it's undeniable to Google's ad system that you are now the person that they want to push the most and will encourage you to be pushed the most by charging you as the least amount of money to encourage you to stick around because they want to promote the people that give their users the best experience. So you, once you prove it to them, of course you want to, they want to run you consistently and they make sure not make sure, but they, they, they try as much as they can make sure you want to stick around then by charging you a really low rate per click so that your return pretty much has to be good at that point in time. Or at least set the system up to encourage other people to try to put, you know, constantly push the envelope on, you know, serving their users needs better on an ongoing basis i.e. there's people there that they know are good now, but they want to encourage new people to come in and nip at their heels so that one, you know, to find once in a while they'll find one person that beats the people that are the are currently doing the best on Google Ads, so that they displace them, and then these people that were pushed down now have to keep trying, so they don't just sit fat and happy and not improve anymore. Anyway, I know that has nothing to do necessarily with the what the topic of this video was, but I already kind of basically covered everything about what this video is, how to do it, why to do it, and for a lot of you guys needing an edge, start out on Bing. If you don't need a lot of customers out up front, I encourage you to start out on Bing using this technique. It should work, should work especially because your competition ain't gonna know this technique, which means the cost per click for keywords in your market is gonna be less than what it would otherwise because they didn't charge uh, what they were charging per click. Nobody would want the ads for those keywords given the ROI wouldn't be there. So basically it's like you're getting three times as much out of a keyword click than anybody else because you don't have the 
extra audience network clicks that are blended in with the cost of what it ultimately costs to get a quality click in your market, if you will. So whereas everybody's conversion rate on their clicks they're getting is like 1%, you'll get 3% because all the audience network is not mixed in there anymore, which gives you that edge to get it to work at a higher ROI than everybody else in your niche. And basically, I'd say probably only two, three, four percent, five percent of people is even gonna know how to do what I'm talking about here, probably more like one, two percent. And so you use that edge to get a foothold in doing search ads in your market, make the money on Bing, max it out, reinvest some of that 10, 20, 30 percent into Google ads, knowing it won't work right away. Eventually it will work if you've set the things up, set your ads up right and your landing pages up right to do better than the existing competition in your market, then you can get, can get Google to work for your market as well. If I were to start another company up today, that's exactly the process I'm going to go through if I didn't have much money to work with up front. But I'll wrap it up pretty much with that. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions about anything I covered here today or any other ad related question, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel, usually within a couple of days time. If you liked the video, I'd really appreciate it if you would give the video a like and, and consider subscribing as I have a ton of other content on this channel about how to make money with ads. Millions of dollars, in fact. Uh, this is all information that comes straight from somebody who manages and just does ad strategy for client accounts on an ongoing basis. I don't even do the so-called grunt work on the accounts that we manage at our firm. I just do the ad strategy, which gives me 40 hours worth of ad testing and strategy related experience to figure out the current best working methods on Google, Facebook, and so forth out there that exist today, which gives you the, therefore the best quality of information you can find on YouTube and as well as online um, that, that to actually information that will actually make you money, not just theory or you know what certain buttons do. This is the information you want to stay tuned into. And with that, if you like the channel, by the way, you'll love my blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog. You can find other money-making strategies that we use to guarantee our clients' results at our firm, as well as on my column at entrepreneur.com. If you want to follow me there, there's other great advice there. Um, as I mentioned, we use that stuff I share with you on my blog, on this channel, to guarantee results on campaigns. We don't charge our clients fees up front until we get them a certain minimum results on their campaigns up front. Um, we would like to be able to do that for you if you have the right product or service that looks like can do well under our management. If you reach out to my firm at guaranteeppc.com, I'd be happy to give you a free assessment to see what's possible in your market, what strategies might work, and then we can give you a guaranteed results with your campaign if it looks like we want to you know, ultimately work together. We don't work with just any company, but if you've got something that really looks like it has a lot of potential, we would love to work with you. And uh, like I said, we don't charge any fees at all if we don't get you any results, sales results on your campaigns. So if you'd like that assessment, please reach out to me at my firm. I'd be happy to give it to you. If you don't want to work with an ad manager, you know, i.e. the best ad manager that you can find in the business, you can also use some of my templates that I've developed for your market if we've worked in your market already. Such as if you're a plumber, we've already worked many years in the plumbing space. Instead of figuring out all everything you need to know to have a award-winning campaign going for your business, you can use the templates that we already used to develop or used to get results in the plumbing space already. All the ad templates, landing page templates and everything. And then literally copy and paste what we have that already works in your space into your account and get the same results we're getting in your own account without any of the work and any of the testing and everything that went into figuring out that ironclad version of what works in that space that we had to go through. We sell those templates for a one-time fee. So, you know, basically I'll, I'll guarantee that you'll spend more time and money figuring out what we had to figure out to get to where we were at in your space than you're gonna, sp then you're gonna spend uh, the, uh, ultimately less money with on the templates that we sell than what it, the money that you're going to have to spend to figure out the same things for yourself, basically. So anyway, if you're interested in that, reach out to me. I'll let you know if we've worked in your space. We've worked in 100 plus markets now. So it is likely that we would have already done at least something in your space and can tell you what results we've gotten in your space if you were to use templates that we have that work in your space already. 
So guaranteedppc.com, reach out to me if you're interested in that. With that said, I'll wrap it all up with that today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.